higher three, so today we're going to be looking at converting between pounds and pence. Um, it might be worth having a look around the house and seeing if you can find any coins because that might help you out um, in today's lesson and the rest of the lessons this week. Um, also, I forgot to mention yesterday, don't put too much pressure on yourself to work through the whole sheet. Remember, in school, um, you don't always get on to the solve it, okay? So if you're running out of time um, or if it's taking you a little bit longer to do the first part, then that's absolutely fine, okay? Remember, there is also the um, problem of the day for you to be doing as well. And there are some um, money maths games for you to do as well. So there's lots of things to do. So just pick and choose what you want to do. Um, so today we're converting between pounds and pence. Um, now, it's important to remember that in every one pound, in every one pound, there is, how many one p's do you think are in one pound? There are 100 pennies in a pound, okay? So then if we were thinking about 50p, if there are 100 one pennies um, in a pound, how many do you think are in 50p? How many one pennies make up 50p? There are 50 one pennies in um, 50p. So then 20p, there'll be 20 one pence in, um, to make up 20. And then in 10, there'll be 10. In 5p, there is um, 5. And then in 2p, there's just Okay, um, obviously there are other ways that you can make up um, the value. So if we've got a 10 pence coin, it could be made up of uh, two five pence, or you might have a five pence and then um, some two pence and one pence. Okay, like yesterday, there's lots of different ways to make one value. Okay. Okay, so in today's lesson, we are going to be converting between pounds and pence. So if we have one pound, that is the same as 100 pence, which I just said, okay? So then if we had two pounds, that is going to be, how many pence do you think? It's going to be 200 pennies, okay? So that's 200 1p coins. Now if we had three pounds, what's the pattern here? So this is going to be 300 pennies, 300 pence, okay? So, um, your sheet today, you have got a um, converting money machine. So, you will have values that you will need to convert either from pence into pounds or pounds into pence. So, for example, you might have um, 270 pence and you need to convert that into pounds. So, think about this as your hundreds, tens and ones. How many hundreds have we got? We've got two. What did we say 200 was equivalent to a minute ago? 200 pence is equivalent to two pounds. So we're going to have two pounds and 70p. Okay, that's going to be our value. If we had um, four pounds and 20 pence, and we want to convert that into uh, pence, we need to have a look at our pounds. First of all, we've got four pounds. Think about how many pennies are going to be in that. It's going to be 400, isn't it? 400 1p coins. So it's going to be 400 and 20 pence, okay? That is how we convert it. Think about your hundreds, how many pennies are in the pound, and then you can go from there. Okay, so I'd now like you to have a go at your sheet. Um, if you've got some coins lying about in the house, you might want to use those to help you. Um, remember, you do not have to do the whole sheet, just do what you can. Um, there is also the white rose problem of the day, and there is um, a link to some um, money games too, which you can have a go at, okay? Um, just do what you can, and the answer to the solve it is on the sheet too, so you can check that you've got that right, okay? I hope this video has helped you to get started.